How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to reset your forgotten Apple ID password. This is so so common because we generally don't type in our Apple ID password every day. We generally use Face ID to download and buy apps and for other normal activities on our iPhone. But sometimes, depending on what you want to do, your iPhone will require your Apple ID password and you'll have to remember it. If you don't, well, I'm gonna help you out because I'm gonna teach you how to remove your forgotten Apple ID password and create a new one right now. Let's get started. Okay guys, so Apple has actually updated the process of resetting a forgotten Apple ID password. Before, it used to be right here in your settings and then you would tap here on Apple ID or Apple account and then as easy as that, you would change it right here. Sometimes it works that way, but actually they have updated it. They don't recommend this way anymore. And I know that because if we go ahead and open up this website, which is if you forgot your Apple ID password, password, which is exactly what we want, they have changed it and updated it and now they recommend us to go ahead and open up a website. And I'm sure this new way of dealing with this situation is pretty much because of stolen device protection alongside with other changes in iOS, okay? So the way we do it now is actually so simple. So all you have to do is tap on this link. Of course, I'll have this page from Apple support as you can see right here on my description so you can tap there and come straight to this page you can check out here as well the tutorial if you want to so then tap here on this link on this blue link and as you can see we're gonna go to another Apple official website which is iforgot.apple.com I've used this website so many times there are a ton of videos here on the channel where I use iforgot.apple.com okay and of course I'll have a direct link in the description as well so if you want to you can just go straight to this website right here because that's what we need okay and from here on all you have to do is tap on reset password and then as you can see it's gonna open up this iOS menu like interface where you're gonna see here your name your Apple ID and so on just confirm to make sure that's right okay and then all you have to do is reset my password please keep in mind that you can use this website if you want to help somebody else which is this option right here so if you have a friend or family member who just forgot their Apple ID password and their phone or iDevice or even Mac is actually locked because of this you can help them on this very same website on this option help somebody else if that's your case you can help somebody else but I believe for most cases we want to reset our own right which is the whole point of this video so reset my password as you can see it's gonna ask for your face ID so you can just go ahead and lean and that's it guys enter a new password that's it you can go ahead and type in your new password and retype it so re-enter it the exact same password just to confirm and then continue and that's it you're good to go now please keep in mind that if we're using stolen device protection maybe you will see a screen like this security delay in progress maybe when you go ahead and continue it'll show you the screen saying stolen device protection and you'll actually have to manually say okay and wait for the security delay as you know if you have solar device protection you will have to wait one hour before making important changes right that's the whole point of it give you time if somebody steals your device okay so if that's your case even if it's you who are doing it you have to wait so then you have to say okay and then wait for the security delay which is one hour as you can see here we've got 56 minutes this is a screenshot that I took so you will have to wait for that one hour and then after that has passed you will see that exact same page that I showed you with new password confirm you type it in and then you're good to go and that's it another updated video super helpful tutorial if you had that problem you won't be having it anymore that's it guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video as usual guys bye bye